Hey friends, it's Jenny and I'm here um, working on day one of Chrissy's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches. <coughs> this is round 15. Today's sketch is brought to us uh, from Ginger Bush. And as you can see, there's three large hexagons. We've got our three photos, a couple hexes on the bottom. And then through the hexes, there are arrows. Let me show you what I'm gonna, what I'm thinking about doing. So my first um, collection to use today is going to be the Simple Stories Into the Wild. Now, I did do a, cu a couple of things ahead of time. I cut out some arrows on my Cricut Joy, although I'm not sure I'm gonna use them yet. Um, I've played with them a little bit. I was, you know, laying out the layout and all that kind of stuff. So we'll, we'll see. My other choice is, let me show you. I have this Easy Stitches stencil. And this is something that I thought I could use to maybe just do a dotted line and then an arrow at the end of them. Um, nothing else is straight. I could do something like X's or Celeste. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I have some options. I have some ideas. We'll see when um, we get there. So what I have into the wild, I've picked out some things already, but I do have in my little handy dandy bucket anything else that I may need. Bits and pieces and journal bits and more puffies and titles and some My Mind's Eye Safari stickers. I've got these k and Company stickers, the six by eight pad. We've got um, frames, more photos. What I chose so far to work with is I'm gonna maybe use one of these Scrap and Happy Studio Flare of just some zoo animals. I just grabbed the package of puffies that I have broke into already. I've got the self-adhesive brads. I've got one of those sheets of the My Mind's Eye Safari stickers. I've got the sticker book for Into the Wild. I also have the chipboard stickers as well as the just foam stickers. I'm thinking my title is going to be this Stay Wild down here, um, but we'll see, we'll see. So I've got all this stuff to use, right? I've started, I've got these. I did cut these hexes out on my Cricut Joy out of scraps of paper that I had from the collection. So I've got these ready to go. I've got my three photos here that I, I'm going to be using. Um, this is a day uh, at the zoo with some cousins. So this is uh, her little baby cousin, Carrie. Um, this is her cousin, Brookie. That's her bestie. And there's Brookie again. So I'm gonna use these three photos on the bottom of the kids just a day at the zoo. Now, other embellies that I picked out so far was just this tiger, the lion head, these are the hexes that I used my punches for. So this one is two inches, this is an inch and a half. I've got the lions, the monkeys, the zebras, and a flower. So I haven't picked a whole lot out yet, but enough to get started to see where I wanna go. Now the paper I selected from Into the Wild is this one, where it's got just all the icons on here with, you know, like if you're going on a safari or on a, on a hunt or something with your boots and your backpack and your binoculars, but I'm not gonna use this side. I'm gonna use the orange side. This is orange and it's just triangles on here. And then I couldn't find another paper into the, into the wild that I wanted to use as my border. Um, so this is actually from Photo Play. We bought a zoo. And initially I was going to go ahead and use the green stripe, right? That looks good. I mean, it, it looks it looks absolutely fine. But then I flipped it, and I actually like the blue outline better, where you can you know almost see some of the little monkeys in the background. But it's got the nice blue sky. What I'm going to do first is gut this. Yeah, 
I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to or not, but I'm going to. So what I'm going to do is I've got my Tim Holtz trimmer here. I'm going to take this to like an inch and three quarters. And then I'm going to line this up at 11. And I'm going to cut all the way through to number one. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to go an inch and a half. We're going to start here at one and go all the way to 10. Same thing, inch and a half. We're, gonna, we're at 10 here, or 11 to one. And then inch and a half. We'll do the same thing here. So this is just what I do when I got the middle of a paper, right? So now I have this that I can use on a future layout. You know, if it's to back photos, if it's, you know, to create like a nice eight by eight block on top of something, but it's really just to conserve paper. So what I'm gonna do, I already trimmed this paper out. I cut a half an inch off of each side already. And I'm gonna go ahead and just adhere this down. Now, by no means, I do have rulers that I use at times to um, make sure I've got things straight, but I, to tell you the truth, I like Sandy Riversky's motto. Um, done is better than perfect or, or something like that, she says, but I, I, I like when she says it. Um, I'm not always the straightest and that's okay. And as you can see here, I'm even just trying to line this up so that it's in the 12 by 12 square. Sometimes I will actually glue this down, just, you know, put a little piece of adhesive or washi just to uh, have that there, but that looks pretty good. And what I'm gonna do is just using the grid on my mat, I'm gonna do looking at a quarter of an inch in on the bottom and on the two sides. That looks pretty good to me. So here's my background. Now the first thing on her sketch, we've got these three hexes up here. So the way I'm gonna put the hexes down is I had this pretty tropical one, then I'm gonna use the tiger one, and then I'm gonna use the elephant zebra elephant zebra elephant rhino hippo one so i was going to use these three like this what's the back of this one just a yellow stripe so uh, let me go ahead i'm going to put these down now these i will let's see eight inches will go here line it up on the two sides and then I'm going to go about an inch in right there and so what I'll do then is I'll do the next one that is the uh, elephant rhino one and again we'll keep that at eight we'll go about 11 and we'll put that right about there. That looks good. There. And then this one will just fit into the middle. Now the reason that I wanted to use the tiger lion paper is at Brookfield Zoo. I believe they just changed the name of it though to the Chicago Zoo, but I'm, I'm not positive. Um, when you see the kids sitting on these, now that they're not sitting, they look like they're sitting on a maybe a fox, but where Carrie and Quinn are sitting here, they have these two big lions outside of the zoo that it's just always, you always take your kids' pictures there. <laughs> so that's why I, I wanted to use this representation there. So the way I had my photos is I had this one here, this one here, and then the two of them messing around in the middle. Now you can tell from Ginger's, it says they're four by four. And if that's the case, then they just cover the whole bottom. And 
I did cut them down and with the mat they are four by four, but I didn't like it. What I'm gonna do is just scatty, you know, catty wampus them just a little bit, nothing, nothing too much, but just over, go ahead and overlap these so it's something like this. I like that. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'll adhere this one since it's gonna be the center. And we'll go from, use my grid here. I'm going to go ahead and line that up between the four and the eight. And I'm gonna go up to about one and a half, I would say. <clears throat> now we've got this one. And we're gonna go probably about half inch in at a half inch up. Yeah. And this has so much space around the outsides, which is why I didn't think it was a big deal to cut the sides up a little bit. So again, I'm gonna use my grid here. We're gonna go about half inch in, half inch up. To about right there. Let's see. Ruler. Oh, there you are. Just gonna measure to see if these two are the same. And holy moly, look, see, see how let's move it down some. Not too bad. My eye just doesn't naturally see straight, so I don't know why. I don't know what the deal is, but eh. Wait, is it better than perfect? Is that what she says? It's gonna drive me crazy. But anyway, there you go. My three photos are down. That looks to be straight there too. Let's see. Oh, uh, that's not. Let me... This is why I glue a lot of the time. Okay, that looks good. Those are good, okay. So we've got, you know, pretty much the base done. We've got our three Hexies. Oh, I gotta do my hexies in the bottom. And I had cut these, like I said, I have hexagon punches. So I used two scraps of paper. So we'll get this one down here. And I want the green side showing. We're gonna put that here. And then we'll put the little I'm going to use the side with the uh, kind of like the animal print and put that right here. Cool beans. Okay, so this is where that dilemma was. So I took the arrows and I put them down and I'm just not really terribly impressed with them. <laughs> And I did cut five and I've lost one. So, so this one would kind of be here. Let's probably switch those two, yeah. This one would be kind of like here. This one would be about the, here. And then this one would be here. I just don't know if I, I love that or not. Um, I am afraid to, but if we turned it and just used the graph paper. I don't know. I don't know. If just me drawing a straight line. I think maybe that's what I'm gonna do instead of even just using the template. I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a line with a marker. And if I don't like it, oh well. So I've got, um, this permanent talk marker, it's in black. Let's go ahead and put this down. Let me see her sketch. Okay, so the first 
one is going to go right under the middle there. So it looks like it's about right there. So I'm going to go ahead and just draw a line. And it looks like it just goes right over and then I'll just make little arrows at the end. Now the next one was at the bottom of the, the two hexes and it doesn't go to the end of this one. It stops about there and it does go about the same length as the one above so about right there let's make our arrow points and then the next one is here at the bottom of this particular hexi so he started right about there to about the same length again as the two above it. Make our arrow. Arrow. And then at the bottom. These are not going to be obviously as big as they are there because I've taken up the space with the photo. So I'll just do one. And then a little baby one I'll do right here. Okay, there you go. Representation of the arrows. Do I love it? No. Do I hate it? No. Um, and sketches are just an idea. Like if I didn't want to do that, that's absolutely fine. But I do try to, you know, kind of follow along. So I, I I thought I'd use those arrows. I, like I said, I cut them out earlier on my joy. And I first, you know, was looking at uh, pattern papers to do it. Then I thought, oh, wood grain would be nice. We're talking about the zoo. And then I just didn't like it. And there was nothing that was, you know, like saying, well, bam, use me. So that's where we're at. Title. Now I mentioned I was going to use the Stay Wild title. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and place that about, looks like she's got it on the top line there, but I'm not gonna be you know, putting something large there, so I'm just gonna move this down, I think. I'll, I'll probably end up using more embellishments or something, because there's not many embellishments shown on here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use any more chipboard, but we'll put it over here as a opportunity to use some. So I'll show you what I initially had set up and let me see if I still like it. And if I do, I'm going to go ahead and glue some things down. So I, as I said, I showed you earlier, I picked out these three pieces here. I was going to put our little tiger here by the girls. And I thought, you know, girls, I'm going to make it have a little flower in its little butt on its ear. And then over here, I was going to put the lion face for the little boy. And then I was just going to put, you know, like this little sign here, lions, monkeys, zebras, because they are, they're, they're just monkeys. Then I had thought about... <clears throat> In the on the sticker sheet there are some other things but then I, I saw that there were some things on here as well nothing that is uh, saying use me right now or in here so yeah no, I'm probably done with the chipboard and I'll you know end up poking all these things back in or I'll take them out and put them all in a different bag I don't think I'm gonna use any of these 
And let's see, what did I have here? For a while, life is good. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna use anything from the foam stickers either. So let's put that to the side. Let's grab our sticker sheet. So the sticker sheet here, you see, there's a lot of stuff on here. I had thought about maybe putting a banner here to just, you know, decorate that a little more. Like I said, I don't have, I'm not gonna put the date. So I thought that would look cute. Let's see, let's look at it together. cute. I don't mind that. And then next to my little lion's monkey zebra here, I wanted to maybe put a, like a little lizard or something. He's hanging out by the by the sign here. I'll, I'll probably end up putting him on foam and that on foam a little bit. Or was there something else? Well, there's a turtle. I don't think I'll use the turtle. The balloons, no, no. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with our little uh, little lizard here. Or maybe a bunch of puffy stickers smaller. So we'll come back to these if, if in a minute. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna put all of my little ephemera pieces that I do have picked out on some dimensional adhesive. Again, I'm still working through the thin ones and I'm gonna use them because I have them. And I'm not gonna create a whole lot of dimension on this one. So I'll go ahead and just use them as thin adhesive. I'm not gonna double them up. Again, these are my favorite. I don't think I have a package here with the naming on it, so. We're gonna go ahead and put our little lion here. Okay, our tiger. We only have one more big one left. So, will that fit on your head? Yeah. Okay. And then we'll use the little ones. Put one here, here, here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna cut a couple of them in half to put it on the legs and the tail. So we'll do one, two, three of them. Those are the scissors I always use for my adhesive. I don't use them to, well, sometimes I'll accidentally grab them when I'm just grabbing, but those are the ones I do have designated to use on different adhesives. I apologize for the sniffling, for the clearing of the throat. Um, it's, you know, cold, turned into allergies, turned into just come on, get, get it done with here. <laughs> Tried to get into the doctor just to, you know, make sure nothing's going on. And I have an appointment June 4th. So if I'm not better by June 4th, oh boy, I am not going to be happy. I mean, I'm not so sick that I can't function, but getting, you know, post nasal drip is just awful. And the org, and then I get headaches or. Not the best, but I woke up, got a good husband, good kids, great grandbaby. As long as I wake up, I'm good. And that is your deep thoughts with Jenny Kozar. <laughs> Just kidding. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and put our little cutie tiger here. 
and we're going to, I just, you know, obviously I have to make sure he stays on the page there. And we'll go ahead and we'll put a little flower on. Okay. So, I'm going to just tap off that adhesive so far and put some on here. So are you participating in 30 Days of Sketches? Are you a creator who does them ahead of time to be ready for the days that they're posting? Or do you create on the day? Do you have a plan kind of like I did where I said, okay, I wanna get, you know, these my daughter's road trip pictures done, some of these zoo pictures and scouting pictures, or do you just kind of go, okay, this is what the sketch is, let me find some photos and fly by the seat of your pants. I've done that, nothing wrong with it, it's just, you know. Okay, perfect. So let's see, I might as well put my title down, and as you know, I think these are still adhesive ones, but I'm gonna put um, glue on it anyway. Obviously, I have more of it coming off than just what would be the adhesive backing, but that's okay. And let me get my glue bottle here. This is Scotch Quick Dry in here. I did buy one of the nozzles to actually fit on the Scotch Quick Quick Dry glue, um, but I'm having a hard time getting anything out of it right now. So went back to the little one. Oh, the problems with glue, right? It's crazy that we have to use glue on things that are supposed to be adhesive already, but that's just the way it goes. We'll go ahead and put our Stay Wild down here. Hold that down for just a second. Okay, so let me take a look. Let's go ahead and see if we can use any of the flare. <clears throat> Normally, I will try to use three of something. I don't think I will use three, but we'll see. So we've got an elephant, we've got a tiger, we have a giraffe, a lion, and a zebra. So let's see. I could always put one here, maybe to tag, you know, tuck you in there. Let's go ahead and put the lion where it's pointing to like the lions. And then do I want another? No, I don't want another one. Maybe I'll use a, an adhesive um, bread. Go ahead and put that there for now. Let's see, now I said, like I said, I got the puppies here and I thought I saw, oh, there's a little monkey. We could always put a little monkey here. Let's see. it down. Monkeys. Let's see. I have a feeling, let me grab my other pack because I must have used, I thought there was a little lizard um, that I wanted to use. And maybe maybe it's just on the sticker sheet, and I'm wrong. Yeah, it's got the turtle, but not the little. Okay, so we're going to go back to the sticker sheet then and get that little guy. <clears throat> I just think that's cute, like it's on the sign there. Okay. 
So I apologize since I'm actually doing these with you. I am trying to get everything as prepared as possible ahead of time. Um, but for the most part, I'll be, I, I'll try to do these with you so that you can see the me just sticking stuff down, I guess. <laughs> or if you prefer that I just go ahead and show you what I'm gonna use, do it and come back, let me know. I'm, I'm open to either way. I don't really see anything else on the puffies. Let's see, is there something I can put maybe up here? So we may put a little zebra or something up here. Can you even see them? Yeah. Or should we do like a koala bear? Although I don't think our zoo has any koala bears, to tell you the truth. Um, it seems like, and I don't know, it just seems like there's less and less animals at the zoos. Now, come on, you saw me take him off of here. Where was he? I'll have to look at the other package in a minute. Let's put you back here. Sorry, Mr. Penguin. What did I say I was going to use? Maybe the claw, because I like how it looked like he was on the little branch here. So maybe, I don't know. I'm not loving it. Don't hate it. Don't love it. Um, have to glue that down some more. Let's see, should we use maybe a big leaf by our lion? Now everything's going to start going off the page then. No. Should we give Mr. Koala a leaf? No. Okay, done with the puffies. If I go back to it, I go back to it. Let's see. Oh, here was the little lizard that I knew I saw, but let's see. Sometimes when you stick these down and it's on top of a photo, forget it. But let's see. Okay, I was able to get them up. Let's see if we can... Yeah, I knew I saw a um, more dimensional one. Let's see. And he's a little bit smaller. Yeah, I like that. I'll have to glue that. No big deal. So put that there. Let's see, what else do we have here? We have a little paw print, that's cute. So I will use that maybe here. And then, so I've got a circle, a circle, a circle. Do I want any around at the top there? We could always use the pretty flower, right? little hippo coming out of the water is pretty cute but let's see one okay I'm gonna think I'm gonna stop there let's go look at our sticker sheet again and we used our banner there's other flowers here big leaves big flowers these are cute the little giraffes I don't think that there's anything, let's see, here that I want to use. And let's see, we've got our sticker book. We've got animals and we've got more cuties. I've got enough circles on the layout. Don't need, I've got a title already. Stay wild. Let's see, do we have anything here? Life says zoo. I like that.
Life's a zoo, stay wild. I think that's about it from here. I mean, I've already done way more than the sketch called for. Nope. Alrighty, so let's see. We've got our three pictures, we've got our hexes, we've got the arrows. I've done um, a little bit more embellishing. I do have to, you know, put some things down with, with some glue yet. But I think I'm gonna call that done. Here's our sketch again. This is from Ginger Bush, day one of round 15, 30 days of sketches. And I'm gonna say, I like it. I think I would have should have moved the photos up just a little bit um, to have more room on the bottom there, but that's okay. Anyway, I'll have photos at the end. I hope you like it. I'm gonna glue everything else down as needed before I go take those photos and I hope you like it. I'll be back for day two. Let me know what you think. Please like, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. I do appreciate it. I appreciate your time and we'll see you soon. Bye.